While reviewing the Kindle Scribe, Amazon's flagship e-reader slash e-ink tablet, I briefly showcased the PDF agenda template I developed for 2023 and that I'm selling on Etsy. Following up on a request I had in the comments, I wanted to make this video to walk through my template in more detail and show what it's all about. As soon as I saw the Kindle Scribe, I got excited to develop an agenda template for this e-ink tablet. I'm always carrying my Kindle Paperwhite around, and my productivity lives or dies by how well I track my activities throughout the day. So embedding my daily agenda in a Kindle just made sense. However, as of December 2022, you can't edit or even mix and match Amazon's default Scribe notebook pages, but you can upload PDFs as personal documents by using one of the many Send to Kindle services. My preference is to use the web loader at amazon.com forward slash send to Kindle. Once the file processes, you can download it from your Kindle library and you can freely write, highlight, and erase across the pages just like a scribe notebook. This allows you to mark up the agenda however you see fit, erase your writing without removing the template, and export the entire agenda via the scribe's share feature, which quickly emails a flattened PDF version to your Amazon account email address or up to five other email addresses at a time. So I got to work and developed the following. The first page of the agenda is very minimalistic with the title front and center atop a faint gray 7.1 millimeter dot grid pattern, which provides structure to all of the agenda pages. Here you can doodle and make your agenda your own. Swiping to move to the right, we see the table of contents. This page was a late addition to my template and was developed in response to some early feedback I got. Thank you, Damon, who was looking for a simple way to jump around more than one page at a time to schedule future events. Here, I've created a visual array of calendar icons, each representing one week of the year, with the week that starts each month shown in black. By clicking on any of these icons, for example, week 22, a hyperlink within the PDF jumps us forward to the Monday of that week. We can then swipe forward to see that Thursday of week 22 is June 1st. And to navigate back to the table of contents page, we simply click on the small calendar icon in the bottom left corner of any of the daily agenda pages. This allows you to quickly navigate throughout the agenda, making plans as you see fit, then jumping back to where you need to be within a few clicks and swipes. The rest of this 315 page agenda is dedicated to the weekday and weekend pages that I use to coordinate my life. Each weekday page has a small header that shows all of the days of the week, with the current day highlighted so that you can visually assess where you're at. Initially, I embedded hyperlinks in each of these tabs, but the Kindle operating system uses touches near the top of the screen to pull down the top menu, so this header is now just visual. I considered moving them to the bottom or one of the sides, but didn't want to trigger any multi-page jumps in case your palm accidentally engages one of the hyperlinks. Moving down the page, the date is indicated directly above a small priority section where I make the point of listing out my main objectives or tasks for the day. Every day brings more than three things to do, but I find that making a point of listing three things separate from the rest gives me a quick jumping off point to avoid falling into analysis paralysis when deciding what to work on next. Beneath this is a seven line task section where I use a bullet journal inspired list to track all of the other tasks that I'm dealing with. I find motivation in checking things off of a list, so having this space to document less urgent tasks is very important. Then the final section on the left is a nine line note section that I reserve for any freeform notes that I need to make throughout the day. Anything from telephone numbers to shopping lists or design ideas get captured here. And of course, there's a small calendar icon indicating the week of the year, which jumps back to the table of contents. Moving to the right side of the page, I've allocated three spaces for drawing out icons that correspond to the different habits that I'm keeping track of. I usually pinch and pull to zoom into this section while sketching out my habit icons. Then, as each habit is achieved, I highlight over the icon. Beneath the habit tracker is a single line that I reserve for writing out what my exercise will be each day. If you're more ambitious than me and doing multiple exercises each day, 
You could use icons here as well, but I usually just name one activity that I want to accomplish. Originally, I had a little dumbbell icon as a part of my habit tracker, but I found that naming the exercise gives me a little more motivation to actually accomplish it. Wrapping up this section is my visual sleep tracker. Here, I'll indicate the three hour window that I usually aim to go to sleep the night before in the left three boxes, as well as when I usually wake up in the right three boxes. Then, when I start my day, I fill in the bubbles corresponding to when I actually went to bed and woke up and connect them with a line. This provides a quick visual indicator of the trends in my sleeping and waking that I can see while flipping through my agenda and helps me to consciously reflect on the importance of my sleep over time. Finally, each weekday agenda also includes a small six space wide schedule section that's used to indicate events throughout the day. The hours from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. each get their own lines with earlier and later events getting pooled into larger sections at the beginning and end. Here, I list abbreviated event titles as well as their expected start time in brackets and if necessary, I use arrows to block off multiple hours as needed. Then, once the event has happened, I check it off. And that's my weekday template. Though weekends find a way of filling up, I've opted to condense both Saturday and Sunday into a single page that's a little simpler than my weekday agenda. You still have the habit, exercise, and sleep tracking sections from the weekday template because those are important things to monitor all week long but the left side is simplified to just a task section. While prioritizing tasks, taking notes, and scheduling activities are still important on weekends, I found that using the basic bullet journaling icons within the task section allows for more compact planning when the week is supposed to be slowing down. And that's it. These weekday and weekend page templates repeat throughout the year and have helped me to tame some of the chaos in my life. Before ending though, there is one thing worth noting if you're looking to use any kind of PDF template like this within the Kindle Scribe. As of December 2022, if you use Send to Kindle services to upload your PDF to your library, it'll be stored along with your handwritten markups within the Kindle WhisperSync cloud. However, you can't see any of your handwritten notes or highlights on other Kindle devices or within the Kindle apps. So, while your handwritten notes and highlights are backed up, you can't pull up your agenda on your Kindle mobile or desktop apps to review it. This is a little thing, but it could be frustrating and is something that I hope Amazon fixes as a part of their regularly planned software updates for the Scribe. Having said that, my overall experience of using this agenda on the Kindle Scribe has been really good, and I'm very happy with how this template has turned out, especially the table of contents hyperlinks. If you're interested in using them, I'm selling them for $12.50 Canadian on my Etsy store, which will be linked in the description below. Otherwise, if you found this video interesting, please hit the like button, consider subscribing and leaving a comment about your favorite agenda features, and I'll see you next time. Happy New Year!